regarding a question that will I give public lectures all over the world like before. And you know, it's been two years. It started maybe in March, March 2020, exactly two years from now. Now it is March 2022, where this COVID-19 pandemic started towards the end of 2019. But it became more prevalent in March 2020, where most of the countries all over the world started having lockdowns. And in March and April, most, almost all, majority of the countries, they had lockdowns. And from there, the restriction started. And all public gatherings have stopped in most parts of the world. Recently, since few months, we have realized that there are some social gatherings. Sports have started. Gatherings have started. And in Malaysia, the restriction is very high. MashaAllah, COVID-19 has been uh, has been contained to a great extent. Malaysia has fought the pandemic very well, alhamdulillah. It's among the top countries. And even here, the large gatherings have been prohibited. Alhamdulillah. Summa alhamdulillah. Two months ago, on the 15th of January, I gave a public lecture in Perlis. I think it was the first public lecture on religion that the government allowed in public. And the Mufti of Perlis, mashallah, is very close to me, he had called me for a, a, a public lecture. So I went to Perlis, but the authorities did not allow more than a thousand people. They allowed maximum thousand people and the gates were shut. Not bad, alhamdulillah. So there were about thousand people for my talk in Perlis on 15th of January. It was the first public lecture that was allowed in Malaysia after the pandemic started. So I've, but naturally, for two years I did not travel. The last I remember that uh, I was in Qatar in 2019. But after that, I haven't traveled outside the country because of the pandemic. And now the restrictions are, mashallah, there are travels allowed in different countries. But yes, I did give many lectures in these two years in Malaysia and different venues, but the gatherings were small. But this large gathering, a public lecture, was two months back. I've got an invitation from other parts of Malaysia. So in Malaysia, Alhamdulillah, started. In other parts of the world, it will take time. But natural, you ask me, can I give lecture all over the world? I have. I take precaution, you know, after the allegation that the Indian government has made against me because of my successful dawah in India, I do travel to those countries which are more Islamic friendly and those which are not very close to India and those who know me well, unless I don't get an invitation from the head of state or from the home minister, I don't go to that country because for safety reasons. But Alhamdulillah, I had invitation for many countries before COVID-19, but because of COVID-19, the restrictions. Now, when the restrictions do open up, I yet have got countries, I've got many uh, invitations, not only from Muslim countries, even from non-Muslim countries. And depending upon the situation, depending which is more feasible, where it's easier, I will decide in this year. But I intend giving lecture at least in a couple of countries outside, outside Malaysia also. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he make it possible like before where we can have large gatherings. I remember in the year 2019, I'd given a talk in Plantan in Kota Baru in the stadium where 100,000 people had gathered. It was one of the largest or the largest Islamic gathering in the world for any day. And inshallah, once the COVID restrictions end, maybe Malaysia will take longer. If not this year, maybe next year. And inshallah, we pray that even in Malaysia, we have large gatherings like the way we had before in Kuala Lumpur, as Kota Baru, where tens of thousands of people, 100,000 people gather. And outside Malaysia also, I have plans of traveling, if not too many, at least a couple of countries, inshallah, seeing the pros and cons, what are the situation of COVID-19. So do pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may we be able to give large public lecture. But one advantage that has taken place because of this COVID-19, because of this pandemic is, I have started giving lectures online. I started the question and answer session, which I never used to have before. 
And initially it was, mashallah, once a week. During the night it was twice a week, became once a week. And now because of my busy schedule, I've increased the timing from one and a half hour to two hours and have it once a fortnight. And my son, Sheikh Farik Naik, he takes on the other alternate week. He handles for about an hour, but I handle for more than two hours. So approximately, not the same, but similar to once a week. The rest of I'm having I'm once a fortnight, but for longer duration. And there are other programs that we made possible in this pandemic. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we increase the effort of da'wah. And that's the reason we started this new platform, al Hidayah. And alhamdulillah, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he bless this. And I would like to mention one more thing, that in this month of Shaban, mashallah Shaban has already started. It started since yesterday in Saudi Arabia and most of the other parts of the world. Today was the first day of Shaban. In this new platform venture that we did of Al Hidayah, which is Alhamdulillah, the largest and the best quality Islamic courses platform in the world and the Islamic video on demand platform. What we have done that in this month of Shaban and the following month Ramadan, we have given a special discount and we'll be reducing though the subscription the monthly and the annual subscription is quite reasonable but during the month of shaban and ramadan which is starting from yesterday to the next two months inshallah we are giving a 50 percent discount so people can subscribe those who are non-muslims we give them free those who are reverts also we give them complimentary and for those of student of knowledge and dais also we have got sponsored people sponsor for their subscription but for general muslim ummah this is the opportunity we are giving 50 percent discount on all subscriptions whatever the reduced rates were it slashed to 50 percent so that people you know have a better opportunity you know and we have given that grab this opportunity of the Ramadan and Shaban offer 50% discount, halfway closer to guidance.